Welcome to Sean Union. Today we'll be introducing the first Maker Series and I'll be talking about laser cutters. A laser cutter controls a very high power beam of light with mirrors and lenses. This beam of light is so powerful it can cut through paper, wood, and even metal. The machine acts a lot like a printer though and you can send it instructions from a computer. We can send two types of instructions to a laser cutter, rasters and vectors. Here is a design file I've created in Inkscape and looks a lot like any other document. Today we'll be making a Twitter nameplate and I'll be using both rasters and vectors. Laser cutters burn raster images and cut vectors. And this is what it looks like. The black lines in our name paint are cut out and the red lettering is burned into the wood. So now let's talk about using the laser cutter and we're gonna be using the Epilogue Legend 36 EXT. So a word of warning before we start, laser cutters are really dangerous machines. So always make sure that you're wearing eye protection when you're around them and never ever try to take anything out of the laser cutter while it is cutting. The first thing I'm doing here is turning on the fan and this helps keep smoke and particles outside of the laser cutter. The next thing I'm going to do is connect the air compressor to the printer and this is going to blow a steady stream of air over the printed material. It's called an air assist and helps keep flares down. Then I'm going to turn on the machine. It's on the bottom left side. And now I'm going to grab my material and put it into the machine. I like to fill the edges so make sure it's um, level and it's uh, aligned. After I place in my material, I'm going to hit the autofocus button. The autofocus button is going to put the laser and the material at the perfect distance so the laser has the most power for cut. And here it's going to, you're going to see it happen. So it's going to drop down the material and then slowly inch its way back up. And then once it finds the um, right location it needs to be in, it's going to pull back. So I'm going to wait for this to happen. And there we have it. Now I'm going to send my file to the printer and just hit the go button. So our nameplate is pretty complicated. It has rasters and vectors. The first thing we're going to do is want to burn the rasters. So this is what it's doing right here. And it's actually pretty fast. After that, it's going to cut the vectors out. And you see here it's going a lot slower, and the, the laser is at a higher power. After that's finished, though, I'm going to simply remove my material. And then I'm going to unplug the air compressor and lift up this notch and turn off the fan. And that's it. You've made your first laser cut material. I hope you guys enjoy that. And there's going to be two more videos in the series. One is going to be about making boxes. And the last one is going to be make um, using a slicer to make a 3D object. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you. Bye.